What is up everybody and welcome back to the channel. We got a fun video today. We are going ice fishing for possibly some of the biggest crappies that I've caught this year. 15, 16 inches are definitely in play. I don't know if I'll catch one, but that is what we're going after. We're going after some big fish. Um, I got minnows, wax worms, um, jigs, rods, tackle box, auger, house, everything I need. Let's get in the truck and let's go. Also, I did forget to mention that if I do end up catching some like eater sized fish, we're definitely gonna keep them. We're definitely gonna cook them up for you. Oh, I thought that was a cop. But yeah, if we do catch some eater sized fish, um, we're definitely gonna eat them. Uh, we're definitely gonna cook them up for you. So take a guess on how we are gonna cook them. Comment down below. But we're almost there. Well, we have made it out to the lake. I think we're just gonna drop the pan optics down do a little searching, try to find some fish. If I don't catch anything here, I'm gonna move over back onto this other point. Right now we're just kind of trying something. Hopefully we can get a couple crappies. Let's get the pan optics out. Maybe we'll film it on the GoPro, but um, yeah, let's try to find some fish. All right, let's pop a few holes. <laughs> Pretty much just gonna drill like, I don't know, five, ten holes right here. Hopefully we can get on them. Just got a little forge spoon on here. Nothing too crazy. Just gonna put a couple of wax worms on there and get to jigging. It looks like we got fish down there too, so it's always a good sign. Oh, my fingers are so cold they can't even move them not functioning right who burr oh we got fish right away instantly oh missed him hooked up this feels like a pretty decent fish What are you? Come on. It's acting like a crappie. Oh, it's a small mouth. Or large mouth. What? Look at that. Just a little large mouth. Hey, okay. That's pretty cool. We'll take that. First fish. Heck yeah. I thought that was going to be crappie for sure. Oh, okay, we got another one. Hooked up. What do we got? Got some digs to them. Bluegill? Yep, for sure. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. We will take that. You're coming home with me. All right. Good little freaking start. Two drops, two fish, are you kidding me? Oh man, this is a blast. You don't get this every day. Come on, a couple more of them bluegills would be nice. Oh, they're already waiting for me. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, I pulled it right out of his mouth. No, that was a bigger fish it looked like. Fired back up. No, no, no. Just out here in sweatpants and a sweatshirt. I probably should go put my bibs on, but. No, 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 no. I think I lost my bait. Oh, definitely lost some. I might go throw my bibs on, guys, just so I'm not kneeling in water and ice. But let's try to catch one more first, I guess. Hopefully I can just do this standing up. Oh, pull it right out of his mouth. I might have to set my house up. This wind is kind of just blowing my line around. It's hard to indicate the bite. That first one just absolutely clobbered it, but 
The rest of them are just barely mouthing it. Just since I'm setting the house up, might as well have a set line too. A lot of these bigger gills on this body of water like to eat crappie minnows. So hopefully we get a bobber down and it'll eat. All right, now we got two holes. Let's go, baby. So on the bobber rod, just got a little crappie jig pretty much. Just gonna put a crappie minnow on there and wait for it to go down. Hooked up guys. Just a little gill. That kind of sucks. Bobber, bobber down. Crappie, yes sir. That's an eater. That's not the ones we're looking for. We're looking for giants. But that'll eat. Nice, pumped. That's a crappie. Oh yeah, crappies. Come on, this one eat. Please eat. This is a big fish. Oh my God, what is this? I spooked him. Okay, got him back. Come on. Come on. He's digging good. I got this one hooked in the gills with two freaking things. He's bleeding. I think I'm gonna keep him. This one's a little small, but I got him hooked bad. He's bleeding like crazy. Oh no, I just broke off my jig too. Oh that sucks. Okay, we're gonna get a different bait down there while we can. Just waiting for this barber to go down too. That'd be pretty sweet. Got a big one, guys. I don't know what this is, but he came up and clobbered it. Might be a bass. Stay out of my bobber. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you kidding me, guys? This is what we're looking for. <laughs> Let's go. Nice crappie. Starting to put the feed bag on really good. Starting to ball up nice. But uh, I think, yeah, that one, that's going to be the ones that come home with me. Alright, I'm only planning on keeping like two or three more. So, hopefully we can get two quick ones and then um, get out of here. Go set up for some walleyes. That is freaking sick. Hooked up. Feels just like a little gill. That's what it is, just a little gale. Came up and clobbered it though. Fish and more minnow in a Wonder Bread color. Just a little crappie tungsten. Seems like most of these fish want something jigging. Okay, we have caught like 10 fish. Four of them have been eaters. So we're gonna keep them. I think we're gonna pack up. Head to a different spot in the lake, try for some walleyes. The sun is just now starting to set. So um, let's make a quick move, get over there. Let's get set up before that sun actually gets down and um, let's jig for some walleyes. All right, just got to the spot. Let's get the house set up. This is what we're sitting on. There's just a point that comes out right there and there's a finger that comes off it. 
and I'm just kind of sitting right in the saddle. Hopefully there's a wall that cruises by later tonight. Look at that gorgeous, gorgeous view. Sun has just hit below the trees. We're not gonna give it too much longer, but uh, man, look at that. I don't know if you guys can see me right now. I don't have my flash on, but gorgeous evening. Hopefully we can just add one walleye to the mixed bag that we got already. Got bluegill, crappie, hopefully, just hopefully. Fingers, cross your fingers, guys. Let's get a walleye. One more fish. One more fish and let's get out of here, go flame up. And if you guys haven't yet, make sure to go down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, comment something that you want me to do in the coming spring or this late ice winter. I'm gonna need help from you guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, let's get back to fishing. Bobber, down. Oh my god, I got swiped instantly. I wasn't even paying attention. This is what we're working with, guys. Just a little perch down there. Alright, we have been sitting here for a while. We got just a little bigger crappie jig with a minnow on it and then a buckshot red one we just switched that up hopefully these fish roll through the perch just finally disappeared we had perch down there everywhere uh, littered from the bottom all the way to like eight feet up couldn't even really drop down there without catching or snagging a perch and they're like this big tiny 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 Nothing, no jumbos, no nothing to go after. So we're gonna just sit here and jig. We got the pan optics down as you guys can see. So if anything comes from the sides, we'll know which way it's coming from. We're not gonna give this too much longer, maybe another half an hour. What is the current time check? Current time is 6.04. I think right now is actually sunset. So 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes. This lake, there's normally just a last 20 minutes last half an hour bite window I kind of just set up in a random spot hopefully something goes by but normally if there's perch down there right as the sun's going down the walleyes will mix through that's all we're hoping right now okay well I think that is gonna do it from the fish house I'm gonna get everything packed up head home I don't know how much of the cooking process and flying process I'm gonna show you guys but we're gonna be eating good um, we got one nice crappie, one nice bluegill, one little crappie that I gill hooked, and then another one that was like the first one, so I just threw it on the ice. Um, but yeah, pretty decent day. We caught some fish, um, but let's get out of here. Let's head back to the house, and maybe we're, we're gonna cook them up. But I'll show. I don't know how much I'm gonna show you guys, but let's get home. See you there. We got the crappies in the batter. Grease is getting hot. Noodles are on the deal. Alfredo sauce. Yeah, you guys know what we're making. Fish Alfredo. We're gonna cook it all up and then um, we'll get back to you. And I believe too guys, this is just your standard Cajun style batter. Just gonna fry it like normal and then uh, take the fish pieces, add it into alfredo but not until it's done that's a key part not until it's done you don't want the fish to get soggy but yeah just standard cajun i think everything's about ready six more minutes in the noodles and the grease is just about hot also the ultimate fish flipper burger flipper yeah same thing right there it is final product taste test awesome. good good Smash. Hey, show me your boobs.